you know you're doing pretty well when you're seeing top five times in the NCAA being run in heat three here at the Stanford Invite in beautiful Palo Alto. Section number four on the track. We're seeing some sunglasses in lane one. That's Peyton Riggs of Southern Utah coming back from the 1500 meter run last night. He ran 352. Jack Benenhuevel of Westmont is in lane two. Jesse Middendorf, uh, Middendorf of North Dakota in three. Ryan Farrell of Louisville in four. Ryan Lindred of Colorado in five. Jesse Hayward of Northern Colorado in six. And Jeremiah Castellano of Cal State Fullerton in seven. And Jesse Hayward from Northern Colorado taking the pace out early, the junior. His uh, first race this weekend and on the inside, Peyton Riggs from uh, Southern Utah. Yeah, Peyton Riggs has decided to take the front. He is a 151, 800 meter guy. Got some fast speed too. He ran 50.3 at Texas Tech, or Utah Tech rather, a couple weeks back. Ran eighth in the mile at the WAC championship, so he's got some strength too, but clearly unafraid to go to the front here. Hayward in lane two. A slight advantage. And Riggs on the inside, 54 high. That should work Jesse well for Hayward. Jesse Hayward. He's a 150.19 guy, so he should be feeling pretty comfortable as he continues to wind it up was fourth at the Big Sky Indoor Championships in this event. Ran 150.1 in the prelims, is still his personal best. Little bit of a cushion, but it looks like Louisville's Ryan Farrell now in the number two spot. Or is that North Dakota State? Coming down to the final 100. You're right, partner, that is Ryan Farrell of Louisville. He's a 149 guy. Might, I think he's the only sub 150 guy in this field, and he is in complete control. The sophomore from Louisville. And he is gonna be just outside the 150 flat mark. And Peyton Riggs from Southern Utah gets second. 151.11 for Ryan Farrell from Louisville. Our next to last section of the men's 800 ready to tow the line. 